Uh, our next presenters, William and Tony with their startup, Blue Grown. We have several seats. There's two up front here, one next to, to Bob. Bob won't bite. I know Mindy, she won't bite. Come on in. There's also one up there in front of Tom. Let's, let's, let's go ahead and have a seat. for having us. We're really excited to be here and we're honored to be able to present the very first meeting of One Million Cups here in Ocala. I'm Will, this is Tony, and we're the co-founders of a very young and local startup here called Blue Grown. So I'd like to start with a little bit about our team. Tony and I are the two active managers of Blue Grown. We've known each other for a long time and we're both from Ocala. Uh, Tony's working on his bachelor's degree at CF here in Ocala with a major in agribusiness. He's also spent six years in the Army as a helicopter technician. So he got to be stationed in cool places like Hawaii and Washington. He was deployed to Afghanistan twice, working on Kiowa helicopters. I earned my bachelor's and master's degree from UF um, with a major in aerospace engineering. And since then, I've been working on controls here in Ocala. So Blue Ground has set out to solve some of the major issues of in-home gardening. One of the things we recognize is that when vegetables are harvested from the plant, they've lost their source of life. So this means when traditional plants are harvested, they travel through the factory, they're sent off for packaging, and then they're trucked around to several stores in a handful of states. Through all of this time, the plant has already lost its source of life, and it's already in the process of decomposing. So what we're doing at Blue Ground is we're using a closed loop aquaponics ecosystem that allows anyone to grow their own food inside of their home. This means everyone can grow their food as organically as they choose to, and it also gives people vegetables that travel from the plant to their plate over the distance of footsteps instead of states. Aquaponics makes use of a symbiotic relationship between the fish and the plants. The fish provide nutrients for the plants, and the plants filter the water for the fish. Ideally, in an aquaponic system, the only external input is the fish food. The fish food is generally made of fast-growing energy sources such as grains, but some aquaponic systems use uh, water plants like duckweed to feed their fish and reduce or eliminate the need for external input. The fish eat the food and convert it into what we'll call floating nutrients. <laughs> Before the plants can use this, uh, it needs to be broken down further, so a special group of bacteria break it down into nitrates and other nutrients that the plants can use. The last members of the aquaponic cycle are the plants. Uh, the plants take the nutrients provided by the fish and in, in turn uh, filter the water for the fish and the overall system. The plants take the nutrients, light provided by the system and natural sources, and CO2 found in the air in your home, and they grow faster and with less inputs than traditional farm. So Tony and I first discussed the idea of in-home aquaponics in April of this year, and we, start, we set out to design a system that we could use. Um, we started out with a pretty large system, and we thought it would be useful to be able to provide all the nutrients that an average family would need to use. Um, in April and May, we started experimenting with different materials like plastics, metals, and even composites, and we looked into what it would take to scale down aquaponics from the size of a farm to something that we could use inside our house. This design phase was really a lot of fun for us because we were just designing the systems we wanted to have, but we started talking with people around us about our system, and we started to learn more of what a lot of people would, would like to have. So in June of this year, we formed Blue Grown LLC, and we started work on a system that would be marketable to general users. Um, as we designed this system, we learned what other people wanted to have, and so um, 
we did some research into what it would take to make the system smaller. For the last two months, we've been in heavy and detailed design for the discovery system, which is a small countertop system. We built some proof of concepts, we've done a lot of testing, and we're really close to the final design. Over the next two months, we want to finish that design and also uh, get all of our material sourcing taken care of. Our planned launch date for the Discovery countertop system is November of this year. So at Blue Grown, we keep as much of the design and manufacturing in-house so that we can develop a system and be flexible to change and improvements whenever we can. We're dedicated to fundamentally understanding aquaponics so that we can design and build perfect systems that grow plants and vegetables really easily. We've designed the fish tank and the grow bed to maximize growability while minimizing the overall, the overall footprint of the system. And with automated lighting and automated pump controls, we've designed the system to look at day and night. We've designed the circuit board in-house and we've written all the software in-house to make sure that the system operates optimally for the layout, size, and shape of our system. We've even extended this mentality into our own manufacturing that allows us to build the systems efficiently and cost effectively now. And it also allows us to scale up to larger volume as our company grows. Uh, the discovery system is just a start for Blue Room though. We do plan to evolve this system as the market becomes more clear and as we learn new ways of doing things. But we also want to introduce new systems as quickly as we can develop them. So this so far includes the utility system, which is a larger system that would allow people to grow more nutrients inside of their home. And also a much larger system that's kind of an industrial system that schools, restaurants, and other large venues can use to grow their own produce. Another facet of the Blue Grown will be aquaponics education. We noticed that a lot of people haven't heard about aquaponics or at least have a limited understanding of what it is and what it can do. We believe that aquaponics has the potential to reshape the landscape of nutritional food. So we'll be making educational materials that will both complement our system and stand alone so that more people can benefit from local, healthy aquaponics grown food. All right, so we really believe these systems can change the future of in-home grown vegetables. Uh, we're really dedicated to this mission and we can't wait to see how Blue Ground continues to grow. Thank you.